you've got a broken seal on your van, best to tackle it straight away. First things first, a standing knife to cut away the, the broken seal out, which I'll show you in the video later on in the, in the video. Make sure you watch it to the end, step by step. What are you going to do? First of all, you're going to cut out the seal and use the proper sealant, which is Stickerflex 522. It'll be on the description below. The products I need now for this job is this Stanley knife, Henry cloth, which is one six one P one hundred, which is pretty rough. And the first one I'm going to use is the undercoat, which is a good good undercoat. This is, is pretty one of the best I found. The second one is the acrylic. This is lovely. This is lovely to go on as well. This is uh, concentrated. Which is twice the size of the can, obviously, and uh, it should dry within half hour. But uh, I will leave it 24 hours because I make sure it is dry, make sure it's properly dry. And the finish, <coughs> and the finish port is the clear paint. That's the final spray in. I will leave that 24 hours as well. And once I once I finish all of them. I go for the G10. And the G10 is a compound just to take out any def any def deficiencies or anything like that. So the other product I need now is a masking tape and newspaper. So let's carry on with the video and we'll show, show you where we're going on. Right, up to the job now. As you can see, it looks pretty bad. Right, the first thing I'm going to do now is cut away the silicon. I step one side and then step the other side. Sorry about the camera work. There's glide underneath. Just to lift away from the front of the van and same as on top then do the exactly the same now that will just peel away now it's quite easy right as you can see it looks pretty dire so next thing we got to do now is get the emery cloth on it and clean it up This takes a while, a bit of patience, you'll be fine. Just make sure you get back right down to the metal. Make sure there's no rust particles left. Which it was a pretty hot day that day. Right, we've almost ready to, ready to mask it up now. It's all cleaned up. The next job is now to wash all this off now and then dry it off so it make sure there's no particles on it or anything. So now mask it off. Here we are. Masked off. But we'll do a better job of masking it off now. There we are, all done now. Now the next thing we're going to do now is get the undercoat. Make sure you give the can a good shake in. Make sure all the paint is all mixed in. And if you can, try not to spray in windy weather. 
as you can see, here we love renders. Yeah, just look at the paper. That's not ideal. Right, we spray it now. There we are. That's why you should spray in windy weather. A nice big ear run there, but I'm not too worried about it. So I'll get that out now. I thought just to uh, cover over the, what I need to cover. Now, I'll just get the tape down. Cover over the top of that. Right, so all you do is pull out the masking tape. Put it over the run. And just pull it out. That's the job done. There we are. I'll put another two coats over the top of that now. After a couple of hours. And every time you finish painting, leave it a couple of hours and make sure it's clean and dry again. So as you see, that's the third coat that is now. So as you can see now, I've taken most of the paperwork away. Just make sure the windows are covered and the doors covered. And it'll be fine. That was the first coat. I think that was the second coat. It was it's the following day this is now. I put silicone on over it because we're going away. And if I was uh, doing the job properly, I wouldn't have silicone it now until I finished the job. So things I had to do. So anyway, we've come back now from holidays. We're doing another coat of top coat. So this is the third lots of paint now. It's been on this now. So leave that dry now. Now for the final clear paint. I say give it a good shake. Make sure it's clean. It's washed down and dried before you spray again. And make sure the can has been well shaken. As you can see, spray even as you can. You can go quite aggressive on this one because it's a clear coat. It's pretty good, it won't run. As you do with the front now, exactly the same. Couple of paints on this one now. There's a little bug there, so I had to try and fish him out. So make sure it's crystal clear before you do spray. So I'll see what is the bug or something like that left on it. Now I will leave this before I was now. Ideally, you'll leave it as long as you can, really. The longer the better.
As I say, it looks pretty good, no? Look, we haven't finished the job yet. But as I say, the most important is make sure it's all clean before you do any job on the van. I will silicone on that again, as you will see. And for some reason, it was on warp speed, so I couldn't show you very well on this one. So what I done is silicone it, make sure my fingers are wet, a little bowl with the wet water, and you just go over the top of it. I just rub your finger along it and it should be fine. As you see now, I'm going to pull the paperwork away now. Always make sure you pull the paperwork into the window, not to, into the paint, because you don't want to pull the paint away. Just gently pull now towards the window. I say we are almost come to the end now. I did get a bit of silicone down over there. Not very good with the silicone, to be honest. With you. But there again, you just clean it up easy enough. Easy enough to clean up. As you can see, it looks pretty good. There's dirt marks on there. I've been washing on the silicone. I've brought the dirt out, as you can see. So the G10 will take all that away. So I'm going to leave that now. I left that a following day now. To dry, make sure the silicone dried and everything. As you can see, the paint work is pretty good. Don't see much about my silicone mind. As I say, you can do this yourself as long as you do it step by step. Just practice on a bit of paper, a bit of metal. That's all you need. You practice and then you're done. There's no problem at all. You could save you a good couple of quid there. And as you can see, it's pretty it's a pretty good job that is. Quite happy with that. Now I'm going to the following day now. I'm going to put the G10 on. Right, all I've done now with this fishing compound is to put some on the rag. As you can see. Now, what I'm going to do now here is dab little bits of compound all down the side of it, where I've painted. i just rub it in. Because this will take the silicone away as well. And it'll bring the shine up as well, this hill. That's why I rubbed it down for a while now. I just had a clean bit of rag then. Just to tick off the G10.
Now I do it with a bit of clean stuff, clean rag now. Yeah, so you've got any bits of silicone on it, that will just take it away, no problem at all. And that's the end of the painting, and almost to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. So if you can avoid all these, Get it in early, cut it out, reseal. As simple as that. If this video has helped you in any way, <clears throat> could you please uh, subscribe? There's more contents here and here, and subscribe here. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.